Hello and welcome to this week's video roundup. I'm Linda Geddes and I'm going to be taking you through some of our favourite science videos from the past week. First up, if you thought lab flies didn't have any fun, think again. Sandrine Kerstemont tells us about a trippy experiment where fruit flies are immersed in virtual reality. Many of us have dreamily watched the world speed by on a car trip, but fruit flies use rushing scenery to measure how fast they're flying and to control their speed accordingly. A new virtual reality system is being used by researchers to learn more about how they do it. The patterns on the walls can be moved at different speeds and can respond to a fly's motion thanks to a 3D camera tracking the fly. They found that by changing the speed of the pattern, the fly was tricked into thinking it was moving faster or slower than it really was. They could control its speed and even make it hover. This new research could be useful for developing new micro-aerial vehicles. Many roboticists are now trying to incorporate control principles from nature into their designs. Next, we look at some female spiders that have very specific criteria when it comes to choosing a mate. You don't have to be a superhero to see ultraviolet rays. In fact, you can be a female Chinese jumping spider. These spiders think males that can reflect UV light are pretty sexy. Researchers studied spiders under different lighting conditions and found that females spent more time checking out males that reflected UVB rays, the medium range of UV. In this case, she even mates with the male. It's the first evidence of an animal using UVB rays to communicate with other members of its species. But the researchers are still not sure exactly how spiders sense the rays. And although UVB rays can cause skin cancer and eye damage in some animals, its effect on spiders is still unclear. And finally, researchers are finding out that intelligence may not be necessary to be a good teacher. Well, if you're a meerkat, that is. Sandrine takes up the story. A young meerkat will be presented with a dead scorpion for dinner, but when it gets a bit older, an adult will present it with a live scorpion that's had its sting removed. The pup can then learn how to kill the scorpion without the risk of getting stung. Although it may seem like the adult is recognizing the pup's growing experience, researchers are actually finding that they're a lot less clever. Meerkats are simply responding to changes in the pup's begging calls. When a young meerkat becomes self-sufficient, adults can all spend longer foraging, so it benefits the whole group. In this case, teaching is based on instinct rather than complex thought. That's all for now, but there are plenty more science and technology stories on our website. For example, you can read about the technologies used to become a superhero in the new Iron Man movie, or find out why some sunsets are so much more stunning than others. Bye for now.